So what are the top 10 guard dog breeds for lazy people or just those that like to chill out and aren't really interested in loads of exercise? Welcome back to The Canine Show. My name's Will, I'm a behaviorist, and on this channel I make videos just like this one to educate people about the amazing world of our canine best friends. And on today's video, we're gonna be discussing the top 10 guard dog breeds for people that live sedentary or inactive lifestyles, which could be for a variety of reasons, none of which are bad. That's your decision to make. Some people want to be out doing 10 hours of exercise a day. Some people wanna come home and just be able to cuddle on the sofa. The most important thing is that you choose your dog based on any energy levels, temperament, trainability, and different characteristics rather than the dog's looks. One of the most common reasons dogs end up in dog shelters and then unfortunately end up euthanized is because people choose a dog based on their look and they haven't married up a dog breed that fits their lifestyle. And you can have a really high energy dog breed with a sedentary lifestyle and people just can't cope and unfortunately have to give them up. So the most important thing is, is you research these different dog breeds, you marry them up, and then you'll have a perfect case and I companion is a pleasure to live with. So without further ado, let's dive into the list and we'll start with number 10. And at number 10, I have the Great Dane. Now the Great Dane is one of those amazing dogs that is just a big, gentle giant. They aren't higher on the list, kind of for two reasons. They were originally bred as working dogs, that for, therefore that makes them do have a good ability to do some exercise, but as long as you blow off that exercise in the form of a good 20, 30 minutes run in the morning, same again in the night, for the rest of the time they absolutely adore nothing more than just lounging around having a cuddle and a good sleep on the sofa with you. Now they also have an amazing intimidation factor. They have a big booming bark and from the outside do make excellent uh, intimidation dogs to deter would-be bad guys. However, they're not necessarily formal ingrained guarding breeds that love to protect and guard. Therefore, if anyone did ever break into your house, you've kind of got a 50-50 as to the whether the dog would actually do any form of protection or welcome them into the house and show them where all your expensive things are. Now, luckily, the majority of burglaries are deterred simply by the intimidation of the burglars knowing that there's a dog in the house the bigger and the more thunderous the bark the more likely they are of scaring them off now like i say unfortunately if anyone goes past that then they you have the decision to make as to whether you want a dog that is more capable of guarding or not but the great dane is definitely right up there with people that are laid back relaxed a little bit lazy and just want a dog that will scare people off and then will cuddle on the sofa at number nine i have the conic also now for people People new to the channel, I've just got a new Connie Corso puppy. She's 12 weeks old. We've had her for the last four weeks. Training's going brilliantly, and I've got a whole channel dedicated to me documenting me raising her from a puppy all the way through the rest of her life. We've also got an Instagram page that's following that journey as well called Will and Mabel IG. Links to both the new Instagram and the new channel down in the description box below. So make sure you go and give us a follow on both Instagram and subscribe to the new channel so you can come along for that amazing journey. And the Connie Corso is right up there with one of the best guard dogs in the world. They often win some of my UDC tournaments where we do knockout tournaments for the best guard dog for certain roles. They would feature higher on this list if they were a little bit more inclined for laziness. Now don't get me wrong, Connie Corsos love nothing more than a good sleep, as in fact right now my puppy's just down here a couple of meters away from me snoring a little head off fast asleep, and she's been asleep for the last few hours. The problem is that they, like the Great Dane, were born to work and still have that ingrained in them. They love to work and they thrive under working conditions, and similar to the Great Dane, they will settle and chill, but you need to blow off that energy first. So for people that are extremely sedentary, might not be the best breed but for people that have got the capability of going out for a good 30 minutes letting them blow off some steam and then want to come back in and be super chill the Connie Corso might be the best dog in the world for that role. At number eight we have one of my personal favorite dog breeds in the world and one of my most recommended dog breeds in the world for people that ask me for my opinion and that's the Newfoundland. Now bear with me I know this is a guard dog video and you might be going what is this guy on about but in a similar fashion to the Great Dane people overestimate 
underestimate just how much they need a guard dog or what their guard dog is capable of. Like I say, the vast majority of potential burglaries that are stopped by a dog are stopped by sheer intimidation alone and never actually come into the property. And the Newfoundland's sheer size, bulk and thunderous bark is more than enough to deter any would-be bad guys from trying in the first place. Now on top of that sheer intimidation and deterrent that you get in the forms of guarding work, you also get one of the best temperaments on the planet. Probably the best dog on the planet with children. Absolutely gentle, giant, brilliant animals. Very intelligent, love to learn, love to please their owners and are completely relaxed, big, cuddly softies in the home. Now, if it wasn't for their lack of guarding ability should something happen, they'd feature much higher on the list. But we have to combine these energy levels and guarding skills as well as intimidation and deterrent to form this list. And they have a amazing temperament, amazing energy levels, fantastic deterrent and intimidation, but unfortunately they do lack in actual protection and guarding abilities. At number seven, which kind of could be joint with eight, they're very interchangeable, is the St. Bernard or St. Bernard, however people like to say it. Very, very similar to the Newfoundland in terms of a beautiful, very relaxed, calm temperament. They love their family, they love being with them, and they're like nothing more than curling up and having a beautiful cuddle with them. And again, very similar to the Newfoundland, will offer you excellent intimidation and deterrent tactics, but unfortunately also will fall down in actual protection protection and guarding abilities. At number six, I have another potentially surprising entrant, and that's the English Bulldog. A real good all-rounder in all three of these categories that we're kind of looking at. Excellent temperaments, lovely, fun characters that are low energy and love nothing more than sleeping and relaxing. They are very reactive to people if they come in close to your house or onto your property, so you will get them barking. They do have that very tenacious ability that still comes with them for what they were originally bred for, which means that they will never back down should they actually need to perform, which does give them fairly decent actual guarding abilities. Now, they don't really excel in any of those areas. There is better temperament dogs, there is better guarding dogs, and there is better intimidation dogs, but they do form together to make an excellent all-rounder, which are one of the best looking dogs on the planet. Absolute beauties and icons here in England. England. Now things are really starting to heat up here at number five and at number five I have the Dog de Bordeaux or French Mastiff and this is where we're really starting to level up now. High levels of intimidation and deterrent, high levels of natural guarding instinct should anything happen and an excellent temperament. Again very much like the English Bulldog being great all-rounders but just better in every area of the English Bulldog when we're talking about a guard dog for lazier people. At number four you're going to start to notice a little bit of a trend here and we have the Tibetan Mastiff. Again, absolutely brilliant dogs and in the home you'll find that they are fantastic temperamented, they love their family and love to be with them and are very relaxed. They have incredible intimidation and deterrent factors and their barks are absolutely insane and their actual protection ability is through the roof, especially their natural internal desire to protect and guard. The downside of a Tibetan Mastiff is that they can be very independent and will often make guarding decisions for themselves, especially if you keep them outside of the house and they've got the ability to be independent and roam. At number three, I have the Neapolitan Mastiff, and in terms of looks, an absolute one of a kind that melts my heart anytime I see one. Those wrinkles and that droopage is, oh. I absolutely love it. They are fantastic dogs. They are also very, very low energy, relaxed dogs, yet will at a moment's notice kick in those guarding instincts. They also have a deep, low, thunderous bark and will be reactive if somebody is snooping around your house that shouldn't be there. So their intimidation and deterrent capabilities are fantastic. They're also often used in their homeland of Italy as natural family guardians and combined with their low energy nurse means that that does make an excellent family guardian for people that do lead more sedentary lifestyles. 
and taking my silver medal in the number two place is the Bull Mastiff. One of the best natural guardian dog breeds in the world. You do not have to teach them to protect whatsoever. They are also right near the top in terms of intimidation factor and that bark is absolutely thunderous should they use to use it. If anyone would even dream of coming snooping around your house and saw that Bull Mastiff sat in the window staring at them, they will very quickly turn around and go the other way. And if they are foolish enough to come into your house and threaten either yourselves, your family or your property, it would very much end up in being a bad day for that bad guy. They also are very low energy. Similar to some of the other breeds higher up on this list, they like nothing more than just a bit of exercise to blow off some steam, less so than a breed like even the Connie Corso. Once they've got rid of that energy, they will happily sit in the sentry mode and watch and guard your house all day, whether you're in or whether you're out. And at the number one spot taking my gold medal is the breed that I came very, very close to choosing and was a close second when eventually I chose the Connie Corso and that's the English Mastiff. And the only reason I didn't choose the English Mastiff was just because of how low energy they are and they wouldn't be able to come with me on some of the hikes that I like to go on. They are absolute epitomes of gentle giants in the home with yourselves and your family and their loved ones. However, they take guard in them and looking after them very seriously seriously but only if they have to get up and do it other than that they would like nothing more than just to curl up and sleep all day and just keep half an ear out should they need to kick into action but if they do need to kick into action they are not only the heaviest and largest of all the dog breeds on the planet they look the part they sound the part and should they ever actually need to kick into action again they're more than capable of wide varieties of natural protection work that don't involve any training so a brilliant temperament, excellent companions, lovely to be around and in the family, but if you ever did need some guarding work, also make an excellent choice. And that's why they top my list as the best guard dog in the world for lazier people. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode of The Canine Show.